Because I really want to get the full value from this. Now we go Biza. Drawing cards, life gaining. We can because we are way too low, so it doesn't change anything. And that's a land. Oh my god, even treasure? That's actually huge because it opens get lost. Alright, let's get some good cards. And we have three mana, so if they have no more lies, uh, we can pay. I think this is good decision, I think it's worth it. And the life gain will matter. Hello everyone, it's Love here, and today band control you've been waiting for, and I'll tell you man, this deck goes so over the top, it's not even funny. It really reminds me of Shigeki shenanigans, because with this deck you have their lookout and cornucopia. You can copy both of them with three steps ahead for a pretty cheap cost, that means you can double trigger crimes every turn cycle, so on your turn and your opponent turn, and you can get so many lands and most of the lands we play have some cool effects so we actually get the value with this and at some point you got silver scrutiny you draw 10 cards and you just force your opponent to leave the game uh, the jersey reawakened is something i'm testing and i'm super happy so far because plotting ability is insanely useful when you plot lookout you can also you know plot cornucopia or lockdown but most of all Look out. That means you can play it for zero mana, which means that activating cre uh, the crime on your turn and your opponent's turn is super easy. And if you can do it once, you get such mana advantage that for the rest of the game you should be fine. So, no, I don't want to over talk it, but basically the deck is extremely fun in the late game because you have so much mana and so many options, you just don't really want to finish the game. So, we need to go into the games. They will be pretty interesting today, so I think you will like them. But before that, the absolute legend for today, H. Smith. Thank you, man, for supporting the channel and, you know, just saving us from the merciless YouTube algorithm and, yeah, just making content like this possible so we can enjoy the new standard. So, really, thank you, man, and, yeah, just enjoy the show. Have fun, guys. All right, Arena, all right, we are going first with two lander, huh? But we have Cornucopia, so we should have some ways to get into 3 mana. We also have Jace, of course we need to wait before we cast it, but maybe, just maybe it will save us. Land? Nope. Bet at Magic. So we definitely need to draw a land. Right now we are in a huge trouble, but if we can get there, you know what, I'll take the tap land, it's okay. Our opponent probably resolute reinforcements, right? Smite. Not the worst card, but I don't think that's the card for now. Like, we don't have uh, the lookout, right? So we don't really ramp right now. Yep. Man, whenever you see open to mana, you know it's not a spell. It's just a creature with flash. Uh, so we will have to go for the lockdown, probably. I would love to draw a natural land. This is one of the reasons we surveilled. So it will be a bit rough. We probably want my, you know, our opponent to just to be tapped, but not sure if we get there. They know we have no instants. Evangelist, extremely, extremely strong card in this situation. So we can lock down and prevent a lot of stuff here. Then go with Biza, potentially. I kinda like it. I think we kinda have to go for this. I would love to cast Cornucopia, but we cannot. So even though it doesn't solve fully everything, it really, really does help. We have a really hard mana situation here. Main phasing. Sure. I mean, when does it stop? Never, never. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright. At least we are playing, you know, a non cre So, uh, I can go with Cornucopia into Jace, but I don't think it's worth it. I really think we have to go Biza. That's a good value. Let's try. We need to start getting somewhere. And after the Sweeper, we are still outvalued on the board super heavily. With uh, Biza, we can get some potentially good blocks, so we will see. They still have red for something. So far, it literally feels like Boros, just without red. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we don't have more lockdowns, which is a little bit unfortunate. Alright, they got a card, that's that's good for them. Case, instantly getting removal they dreamed of, that's fine. If they attack, we will start trading against those tokens. 
they are extremely excited to swing on and you know just be closer to mythic a little bit but we don't mind we traded for two extra cards and even though they flip this they still lost uh two creatures so that's that's kind of okay i would love to draw cards but we are not there i could try to go cornucopia and to get lost but it's probably too slow right it's probably too slow so i could go jacer away okay so i can go cornucopia no i want to plot something i hope i can survive you know what let's try it because if I can start plotting, that would be absolutely insanely good. Like, that helps a ton. So we could kill something right now, but I don't think it's worth it. There's only one or two cards we don't know of. So the chance of hitting counter spell is very low. And if we can get this extra small value, that's huge. It's, it's basically an improved land right now. S face. <laughs> Just... <laughs> all right why wouldn't it be face right so this will happen 12 damage quite a lot i honestly really would love to kill the evangelist this would be nine damage which is way better yeah i think we try like this all right no priority that's super important with no priority i think we should be kind of okay we are on the verge of stabilizing, we just need to survive, you know, a moment longer. And we are starting to get the life gain from uh, Cornucopia and Biza. Alright, drawing cards. What is the play? What is the play, my friend? Well, the play seems to be a lockdown. So, we will definitely play this. If I plot into Biza, I can actually go for... Yeah, this one is pretty good. Let's go into second combat phase. Or second main phase, sorry. No priority. So, uh, if they have counter spell, we wouldn't see, but I don't think they do. If they have a counter spell, it's no more lies, and the mana is wrong. So, I think we can guarantee that it works. So, let's go for the plotting. Because I really want to get the full value from this. Now we go Biza. Drawing cards. Life gaining. We can because we are way too low. So it doesn't change anything. And that's a lot. Oh my god. Even treasure. That's actually huge because it opens get lost. I actually did not know about this one. Uh, Lookout is nice. We can start getting some serious value with this. That also means we probably don't want to get lost unless we really have to. All right, you know what? I'm happy with our situation. They can sneak some damage, but it's not a lot. They also cannot kill Jace. And you can see that moment you start getting this value from Jace, uh, you are going crazy. They know about the lockdown. That's the only downside. So they can prepare, but in the end, they still need to play into the board. Like if they don't play enough for the lockdown, like we just ignore them. And this is really good. But we can kill it. This this will be so, so huge. Alright, let's see the full swing. Because they know that bad things will happen on the next turn. And now we can actually kill something. This will be 5-4. So, what do we do? This is important. I would love to get this value, but we probably won't right now. I can play this 3 mana. Then temporal lockdown and get lost something. Well, we can start getting the value. So do we just chum block? Yeah, I think so. I think so. This should be good enough. The damage is not serious right now. We get a little bit less life gain, but I don't think we're on the verge of dying super hard. So we can just go with it. All right, first, let's take the mana from this. We go for the lockdown. All right, but we will lose Jace, so that's important. Do I have something I want to do with Jace? Not really, not really. We can always take uh, Jace back with Get Lost if we really want to. Okay, this is nice. I think we get rid of the counter spell, honestly. 
It's a great card, but it's not needed right now. All right, let's get rid of all the stuff we live game. So sorry, Jace, but you did your part, all right? You got us out of trouble. Now we play the lookout. And we go for a get loss later. And uh, we don't do anything here. Yeah, and then we start getting clans, and then we silver scrutiny, we refill and we win the game. That's the plan. That's the plan. I wonder if they have something against the lockdowns. Because the version seems a little bit weird. Gleeful demolition, but that means they don't get the stuff. And I got the land. Sure. I mean, it's something, but they didn't really get the value. I, they should go to combat phase, yep. Do I want to silver scrutiny? I don't think it's the it's the play for now. If they attack, yep. We can just get lost this. Let's see if that goes through. We already commit a crime. Are you serious? Oh my god, really? I worked so hard to get this one trigger. All right, all right, Shuffler. All right, Shuffler, you got your revenge. But we are still getting good trade, whatever we... Man, that was brutal. Like, we play every second card in our deck is a land. But somehow we missed all of them. All right. They can get one card potentially. Unfortunately, they drew a card. That means they can open another map. All right, Season. That is interesting. We can get Cornucopia with this. Indestructible Cornucopia. Uh, but I'm not sure if you want it. I want to target something. I think we go like this. Mm, we exile something so we can draw a land. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> And we create some creatures. I think that's the play. I don't really super care about exiling it, but I really... Shuffler! 10 cards? Not a single land? It's fine. It's it's so fine, man. I made the worst choice just to get this land. Like, what are the chances? Man, I played 25 lands. Every second card is a land on average. And here we are with 10 cards, no lands. All right, Shuffler definitely doesn't like us this time. Do we attack with everything? Seven damage, that's that's a start. I think we go with this uh, only because uh, they want to play Recruiter and get some free damage and Biza is great to punish this. Oh man, I should have two more Landsmen. And the uh, difference between five is, man, I, I think we might actually lose with this. All right, full swing, as usual. Since months, you can just full swing your way. And, uh, man, look out. Like, this should be so much easier, but even the shuffler couldn't win this game for our opponent. All right. We're going first. We have uh, Cornucopia and green mana to play it, so I'm kind of happy with it. We don't have any blue mana, so we have some way to go. And that's probably like fifth red deck in a row. Like, this is literally the only type of decks I'm seeing for the whole day. I will take Smite. I don't love it, but we can play it on the next turn with Cornucopia. Uh, I would love to draw something higher value, but, you know, we, we can get there. Uh, let's go. I kind of like Demolition Field. Uh, because we can use it to Aether Crime if we draw a uh, Lookout. Uh, or just get blue mana and we need to start somewhere. This is blue mana and this will be the second one so we can cast Jace. Uh, but we finally have Cornucopia and we can start countering spells if we want. I will wait one more turn because if they cast something into three steps ahead we get good value. If not we start cycling cards with Jace because that means it's Boros Control. Or Jeskai. All right, interesting one. All right, let's go for Demolition Field. It's not the best value, but I want this, the blue mana anyway. So I think it will be okay. And I have enough white mana. So let's go for blue. Uh, yep, I will definitely take one. Uh, our open... No way. No way. <laughs> they don't play six. Okay, I didn't expect this. Uh, so they they got uh, kind of destroyed with this play. 
Uh, that means we know that it's a control deck. They probably have a lot of helix, so we need to you know, uh, take value from Jace while we can. Uh, because it will die probably on the next turn. Not on this one, because they don't have 4 mana for double helix. And that means we cycle at least one of the cards. Then we probably go with Fountain Port. Here's the first one. I don't think I will protect Jace. If we can trade for two cards, what are you? Torch the tower. Sure, I think it's worth it. We still got a really good trade. Basically, they invested two cards to kill this, and we cycled bad cards for the matchup. Um, this can be used against the Uncord, so I will go with the lockdown. We cannot counter a spell, though. That's, uh, that's something I actually didn't think about, so I hope we don't get punished. Our opponent top deck exactly the land he needed, and exactly... <laughs> Oh man, talk about punish for a single turn when we tapped. Well, this is as good as he could ever hope for. Alright, we'll try to work through it. We definitely have some value, so I think we should be fine, but uh, you cannot imagine harder punish this, than this. We, on the next turn we would be untapped forever. Sure, this, this one is fine. It's highlighted because we can uh, cycle cards with it. I cannot go for the treasure, we don't have enough. Alright, let's get to the fish. Let's steal something. And let's go with the mace. We need to start countering a lot of spells right now, because they need to enter the battlefield, and only artifacts matter. So it's not all the best. Listen, we need to send a message here. Our opponent needs to know. We could actually smite this. <laughs> Is that even a good play, man? I don't need to do it. I don't. That was, that was definitely not the play for the day. Uh, let's see it. They need artifacts. They probably don't have too many cards that will trigger Synthesizer. I hope they would, they won't attack. So, um, I think we want the treasure token. They can do something, but artifacts are usually not instant speed. All right. Well, this, this is definitely some. I think we cast this at the end step. Alright, it feels like a wasted time, but it's actually not. Every time I can cast Smite, if I stop attacking and then attack once, they know something changed. Here, they know that, you know, we are just doing it because reasons. <laughs> reasons. We can start copying Cornucopia. How much mana we have? Five, seven, five, seven. So we can already do it without the treasure. We can go for all the modes. And uh, this triggers everything. They don't have blue mana, except the treasure, so I hope we won't get counterspelled. I definitely want those two. Three, five. Do you think they have no more lies? No way, right? Let's go forever. I will risk here. I will risk here. Just please, please don't punish me for it, for my greed. I don't want to be punished for my greed. Alright. It's going good. All right, we resolved it. That's huge. That's kind of huge. Uh, I want the smite. Honestly, I think it's Anchorage. It's not a bad card, but we will have enough value to support, you know, whatever we want. And with extra cornucopia, like, this is actually super good here. All right. We can counter another spell. So I think we keep trading because we force a lot of answers from them right now. They don't get any use of this so far. And we can also double our Cornucopia again, play another land, so on the next turn we will get two extra cards. Yeah, I think they're kind of desperate for value. So we will cast a huge Silver Scrutiny, get some Sweeper, so when they go for the Constructs we just sweep the board. This could be a very interesting game, honestly. And Silver Scrutiny is our big play. Uh, let's go for the Treasure, because that gives us... Uh, one extra card. If we want. If we want. I cannot kill this, unfortunately. Hmm. They have the same card advantage in a way. Double blue. I don't think they play counter spells, but we need to be careful of it. So I think we go, what, three, seven, eight? Let's go for 8 cards. 
Did I play a land for this turn? I think I did. Alright, let's get some good cards. And we have 3 mana, so if they have no more lies, uh, we can pay. I think this is a good decision, I think it's worth it. And the life gain will matter. Alright, some nice draws here. Uh, I could play more. I can play more. Or we can just hold the 3 steps set. You know what, I think it's important. Let's go for it. We don't go for attacks. And we still have Jace, so we can actually mill them later. Treasure, sure. Man, we need to discard like four cards. <laughs> so land, land, lockdown, and I guess land. We just go for this value. Even if you discard, look at the hand, it's stacked. It's so stacked, so we should be fine. And we have more scrutiny, so it's just the first one. It will get worse for our opponent. And we still have a counter spell, and that is quite important. I don't really want to use it. Yep, so they're doing one card. So they're extremely behind. And yeah, we will start stacking our J so we can mill them in one turn. Yeah, I think if they don't put pressure now, I think they are losing. Already second Jace. Great, really great. Let's go Cornucopia. And I honestly think we'll uh, cycle get lost. Let's go for Jace. They definitely don't want to see this kind of stuff. And we keep the smite against the Anchorage. Let's gain life. Triple Cornucopia, by the way. And let's start the cycling cards. I like the smite. It's so efficient that I think we can still make a good use of it. Get Lost has some drawback and I don't want to give him cards. Not a big deal. We can outvalue everything, but uh, I still prefer the smite. Helix. One. Sure. I don't really care about it. If they go to zero cards, just trading against Planeswalkers, I'm fine with it. Sure, our opponent definitely do doesn't like Jace, you know? Uh, sure. This should be good. And we keep so much mana. Oh, found Bainport, thank you. That's perfect. Uh, sorry, no, fish, stay, stay. Alright, and they have only three cards. So we traded so much against what they have. Mirex is a problem, but I think we can absolutely, you know, hold our own against it. We can double fish if we want. We can double f or just make more treasures. Let's go for a fish because later we can uh, start doing cards if we want. And they only have one. We can use them as blockers against Mirex, so we don't need to kill it. We just trade four mana turn from uh, with them. And we have more mana than they do. Oh boy, and more cards it seems. There is a chance we can go with one dice. Alright, let's make some plays. This is risky, that's not how you should be playing, but I will be playing like this because I think we can. I think we can. We also get to potentially draw three cards if we care about it. And we have enough Jaces to get some good value from this. Let's go for... I, at least they won't hit Memorators, right? We have Smite, we have Get Lost, so this shouldn't matter. And we see the build a little bit, which helps as well. So they have three steps ahead, two of them already in the graveyard. Probably one in... well, not in the hand, they didn't cast it. Alright, and we keep the fish to protect. Fish are great. They protect, they understand, and they win. So, uh, Mirex into Fountain Port. Something. They should probably go for the fish. They have so much life. They really want this treasure token, but I'm not sure if that's the right call. I guess they don't pay life, but is it worth it? Like, it's better to have extra creatures, so maybe you can punish Jace if you get, you know, some good removal in hand. We'll see. I don't think they can kill Jace. That's why I made this play, because I want to start stacking Jace a little bit. Drawing cards, sure. Suggest that they don't have what they need. We have 9 mana. Potentially up to 11. Those treasures are so good, man. On the crucial turn, we can just get so much extra value. And this is why we kept the single smite for the whole game. And I don't mind the map token. Yep. 
here it comes the smite of absolute doom waiting for like 15 turns for this small anchorage to cut its wings all right so that's out they also lost a land which is a big deal like we are really fighting for the value here and as you can see we both can use all the mana every turn uh, sure i don't think we mind it they don't really do anything right now and when they kneel it's actually helpful for us so uh, they don't know that the second dice is already here do i want to draw three cards um i don't care really let's go for three i want more mana as long as i have mana to cast everything oh that's nice so we get rid of this one we demolition do i even care i think we go for fountain port because the mirrors doesn't do anything really and we also take one oh right they don't have basics their only basic was wait they have three why they didn't take it did they have three basics in their hand that would be the the only logical you know explanation right and we don't need to do anything we will mill them very quickly so this is already what seven loyalty 21 cards so one more turn one more plus one from jace and if they kill this one we just go for for the next one kill timed explosion they are trying to find you know the place they can actually discard something that kills fish interesting but we are not countering it uh, i think they will try to discard something for one or two yep exactly very very nice play we can draw cards if we care and i think we do i mean be my guest you can absolutely kill james <laughs> and that's the fun part uh, you have when you have more than two jaces you can actually you know be a bit wasteful and risk one of them usually it gives you good value I just want to make sure that they cannot counter spell. This is one damage, so this Jace doesn't even die, right? Tap plant. Yeah, with this we should be winning. Let's go for a treasure. We need the, as much mana as possible for the last turn. Our opponent is probably kind of scared when he sees how much we have. All right. And this deck, when it gets going, you just don't stop, man. All right. They should probably know. Uh, let's go with Found Import just to make sure we have uh, double blue mana. Like, we need six blue mana on this turn. Alright, take action, take action. They should know what that means. So, oh, five. I, I try to be fast, and in the end, I'm so. <laughs> Alright, five. And the last Jace, right? We should be fine. And this is the last one the the main jace and they got triple jace uh, man as you can see with uh, this build you don't need to buffer all their value you just mill them at some point but i think we could buffer like they were pretty slow on this all right slick shot so we can lock down if we want or we can play land and wait one more turn and i think we have to go for it because if we don't draw a land huh I mean, if we tap, we lose the game, right? I could also go with Jace, go to 15 and risk that I instantly die, which is super fun. Or I can just get lost if they try to pump and lock down. I think this is the better play. Because we are not drawing lands, uh, we might lose the game anyway. Uh, right now we need to draw a land. It can be tapped, but it has to be a land. Two damage is fine, so they need to buff. Like, they don't have good situation. They need to play buff spells into removal. They know about it, uh, but, you know, sure. And let's see, what is the target? Sure. I pass the priority because they might pump it more. As you can see, they are pumping it more and five damage from six shot on the main turn is definitely not what they're looking for they went absolute greed lord mode and they got absolutely punished for it they basically wasted two cards on a creature that was removed and with this they probably lose the game uh, unless we don't draw and then they win the game so they can use map token that's fine 
let's see of course they get the extra card and of course we miss the extra card so the usual that's super bad right uh, can i go with the lockdown here i could try to go jace it's not very good. I can draw one card. So right now we are basically fighting against the Shuffler. We, if we don't draw the fourth land, we won't uh, win the game. Um, and we need to get there. If I lock down, they just play another creature, pump it, and I'm dead, probably. If I Jace, they will pump it through uh, the debuff. I think we have to, because we die otherwise. And th this is so aggressive that it's crazy. Like, you cannot allow single hit from those creatures, because this is, like, above 10 damage very often. Here it comes. So, now we, we just need to draw lands. We need to be good at magic, there is no way around it. Yep, 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 yep. With Biza we can absolutely stabilize against all of this, but we need to draw a land. Alright, we are... Indeed, put it magic and with this we probably won. So let's go to 10. We have a huge blocker that they cannot really remove easily. And uh, do you want to, yeah, as you can see. So, yep, drawing plant is extremely important skill right now. <laughs> All right, guys, serious resolution. I will try to make it auto concise. I will try, I will put an honest effort into it. But first, let's thank the Patreon members for just making all of this possible and supporting the channel because, uh, you know, it, it makes a huge difference, you know, it, it helps, it really helps. So yeah, thank you guys. And about the deck, uh, you have seen in the games that the lookout was a very strange one. We missed all the, all the tries with it and on the other long games it just didn't turn out. We have three of them. This was the main idea for the whole deck. Uh, I even added cards so we can, you know, commit crimes and somehow it didn't work but I think I was kind of unlucky with the draws honestly. Uh, it's kind of impossible to miss twice in a row. I don't know how I did it, but I, I guess I'm not very good at magic, so <laughs> I hope you won't miss. You shouldn't. Uh, and yeah, I, the card is absolutely busted. This card is not very seen, but it's actually incredibly, incredibly powerful, especially in a control deck that can use all the mana. Uh, I wanted to try, try this Jacer Awakened synergy with this one, and even with Cornucopia or something, it just accelerates you so much. And when when you finally have played everything from your hand that you cared about, you just start cycling cards and, you know, we don't really have too much use for minus six, but we don't really need to. You can always try to season or, you know, just get lost something, but main idea is that you can get into your cardo like Silver Scrutiny, Biza or Jace. We play three Jace and I have to say that it's, it feels better than three Jace and also the main reason, I kind of forgot to mention it in the intro, uh, the main reason Jace is here because it's so easy easy to trigger crime every single turn, even if there are no cards in the in the board. So that was the reason I included Jace. I tried with one or two at first, and then I realized, man, the synergy is insane, and it's probably one of the easiest ways to just trigger Lookout every single turn without investing cards or mana. So that was the reason. If you watched outro until now, now you know. You can tell others in the comment because I wanted to say it in the intro, and then I started editing and I forgot. So so now we are here. So uh, yeah, I said the outro will be quick, so I have to end it here. I hope you enjoyed the deck and thank you guys for all the support and for all the comments and just think until the end and yeah, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys and see you tomorrow.